In this tutorial, we'll create this network sensitive UI in Flutter using the connectivity and the provider package. In the parts of the world where I'm from, there's a chance that some of your users might not have the best network connection. If your app relies on a stable connection like Wi-Fi, it's a good idea to provide feedback in your app when it's not connected or when there's no connection. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, you don't have to clone my repo, but I've set up some UI so that we can see the effects when we apply our network sensitivity. The link to the repo is in the description below. One quick thing, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and activate your notifications. Let's start by adding the required packages. Go to your popspec.yaml file and under the Cupertino icons we'll add the connectivity package as well as the provider package. Save the file and make sure that all the packages are fetched. The way we are implementing this functionality is as follows. The connectivity package provides us with a connectivity result stream. What we'll do is create a service that listens to the stream and then convert the result into one of our own enums. We are doing this so that our code itself doesn't depend on the third party package outside of our connectivity service. We'll start by adding the enum that we'll use to define our connectivity status. Create a new folder under the lib folder and call it enums. And inside that folder create a new file called connectivity status. We'll create a new enum called connectivity status and it has the following values. Wi-Fi, cellular and offline. Next we'll create our service. Create a new folder under lib called services and inside this folder create a new file called connectivity service. Then create the constructor of the connectivity service. We'll instantiate a new instance of our connectivity package class. We will get the on connectivity chain stream. And we will subscribe to it by calling listen and then passing in our handler function. The stream returns a type of connectivity result and that's what we'll use to swap it to our own enum. The first thing we have to do is to convert the result into our enum. So we'll create a function that returns a connectivity status called get status from result and it takes in a connectivity result. Then inside this function we will switch on the result. And for the case of mobile, we want to return our connectivity status dot cellular enum value. We can then duplicate this three times and update the case for Wi-Fi and then we'll return Wi-Fi from our enum as well. And the last one will change to none and we will return offline as our enum value. Then we also want to set a default value to return and we'll leave this as offline. Now we can go ahead and convert the result to our connectivity status. Create a new variable called connection status and pass the result to the get status from result function. The next thing we want to do is to broadcast this value over a stream. We'll create a stream controller of type connectivity status and we'll call the controller connection status controller. And the last thing to do is to add our connection status onto the connection status controller. That's it for the service and now we just want to provide the stream to the rest of the app. Go to the main.dart file and wrap the material app widget in a stream provider widget of type connectivity status. We'll import all the packages that's required and the enum file as well. The builder now expects a stream controller of type connectivity status so we'll create a new instance of our connectivity service and we'll provide it with a connection status controller. So the way we'll implement this functionality is to create our own widget called network sensitive. This widget will take in a widget as a child and an opacity value and depending on the network status which we'll get from the stream this network will either return the child or faded out version of the child depending on the network. So under the widgets folder create a new file called network sensitive and inside create a stateless widget called network sensitive. This widget will take in the child as a widget. It will also take in an opacity value that is a double and we'll set both of these values in the constructor of the widget. And now let's get on to the part where we actually do the network sensitive parts. The first thing we want to do is just get the connection status and we can do this by simply calling provider.of and giving the type connectivity status and then passing our context to our function. The provider package manages the stream and the subscriptions and will automatically rebuild this widget when a new value is emitted over the stream. Now that we have the connection status, we can check if the connectivity status is on Wi-Fi and if it is, we'll return the child as it was passed in. Then we'll check if the connection status is on cellular and if it is, we'll wrap the child in an opacity widget and set it to our opacity value which has a default value of 0.5. And for the last case, when there is no connection, 
we will wrap the child in an opacity and we will set it to a very low value like 0 0.1. We can additionally block the actual input here by wrapping this opacity with an ignore pointer widget, but we won't do that for this example. The last thing left to do is to just wrap our stats counters in a network sensitive widget. So we'll wrap the errors stats counter and we'll also wrap the users stats counter. And if you run this code now and you turn off your Wi-Fi, you'll see that the widgets get an opacity of 50%. And when you turn off your mobile data completely, you'll see that it drops down to even lower. And that's it for a network sensitive widget. This is where I'll end this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next week.